Martin, I know that uh, music is a big part of your life, and that is no wonder, as you are from a musical family. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I grew up in a family of music, and uh, at a very young age, I became interested in and started playing when I was roughly seven and a half years of age. And um, I, I've been playing as much and as often as I can ever since, and, and I, I make my living off it, so it's true to say that it is just about the clothes I wear. <laughs> Or the tunes I play. Uh, you had music on both sides of your family, I believe. Yeah, um, my father, uh, Peter Hayes, played the fiddle, and uh, he was in the Tully Kelly band. And so I used to hear music when I was a child in the house. And so I got music from my dad's side, and his mother was also a concertina player. And um, another in-law in the family was uh, the man who married my dad's sister and his name was Paddy Kenny so there was music there and on my mother's side then I have uh, a lot of first sisters <laughs> married into musical families also so all my first cousins I have Mac Mahans and Innes that were musicians so it was quite a lot of musicians in the family on both sides so I, it was the thing to do. <laughs> yeah well the you couldn't mention the name the Tullochary band without hearing the name PJ Hayes and Paddy Kenny I know of when I was growing up at home, and I think anybody in Ireland, and they were a number of times all Ireland champions, right? Yeah, that's back in the uh, in the 50s, uh, I guess, and, and late 40s, you know, they started Colt as Kjoltor Eirn to a. Uh, um, so, uh, just to promote the music and get it organised, so they organised all those competitions and stuff, and then all these Cayley bands gathered together to compete. And there was quite a lot of them from County Clare at the time. So, yeah, they used to compete throughout the fifties and get the Kilfenora Kelly band, which is from where you come from, Tom. Those people were. Yeah, and uh, there was a bit of rivalry there That's for right. a few years too. They say you it was friendly. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it was great. Yeah. Uh, did you uh, you played with the Tully band too, didn't you? I I did for about uh, s well God I played for since I was about uh, thirteen years of age I I I think the f the first year I went to high school or secondary school would be called back there I joined up with the band for the weekends you know so that that took precedence over homework and all kinds of other things but I've been playing it for about eight or nine years almost oh I didn't realize it was that long and yeah. then you uh, struck it on your own as far as you actually were all Ireland champion as well on the fiddle yeah yeah and that was something that uh, you you know you did an individual competition as well as playing with the band yeah yeah they had solo fiddle competitions and uh, Martin tell us a little bit about the music scene now uh, in Ireland and how it compares with here well um, I, I'm, I'm here almost eight years I think but uh, it has changed quite a bit back there uh, since I left uh, and there's far more traditional musicians being able to make a living back there than used to be and one of the reasons I stayed here was because I, I had uh, I wanted to play music and I really enjoyed playing it for a living and I was able to do it here uh, especially in Chicago and I got lots of opportunity to play so but but nowadays there's greater opportunity back in Ireland also for traditional musicians it seems to earn a living as it were or, or sustenance <laughs> Well, Marilyn, a lot of people have heard about uh, your new group. Uh, what's the name of the group that you're playing with now? Um, it's called Midnight Court. Or, uh, and you started, I believe you started that group. Uh, well, I, I came up with the name all right, but it, it, it kind of existed as an embryo kind of thing before with uh, Dennis and, and Erwin were playing as a duet. And I actually joined up with them then, and we didn't have a name, so we decided we'd call it something. And I was trying to think of a, a name that was... Irish and that didn't really conjure up a lot of ideas but would be left ominous and yet if one investigated it, it would mean something so that's the, the name Midnight Court plus Brian Merriman came from close to where I was born at home in Fiecl and it, it was a poem called Court on Van Ehe. it was banned for many years in Ireland and that was the the name Midnight Court came from that. Was that where it came from? Yeah. Oh that's interesting. Mm. So that's it's part of a little bit of Irish history as well. That's the same Merriman that they have the lectures for in Liston Varna. That's right, yeah. Except he was from Fiekel. Oh, is he from Fiekel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good for it. One more up for you there, boy. Uh, uh, where do you usually play around town, Martin, with the group? Well, I, I play quite a lot at a place called the Abbey Pub, Tom, and uh, I, I 
you know, whatever clubs I've played, most of the Irish bars that you could think of, I suppose. But we, we play every place from the beat kitchen to Shubis to, you know, to all the festivals and street fairs and what have you. I know you travel a lot as well. I think you were recently out in San Francisco? Uh, yeah, they, 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 they started running an Irish festival there. And um, it's it was it was a very fine Irish festival. I got to play with uh, an accordion player called Charlie Piggott and uh, with a, a banjo player called Sean O'Driscoll, originally from Cork, but living in Minneapolis right now. So that was nice, and I got to play in the Plough and the Stars over there for a week after that. Oh, I heard. Uh, I know there was different write-ups about that uh, out there. I heard it was really great. Uh, was it Charlie Pickett was one, and uh, yeah. and then and of course you said uh, Sean O'Driscoll yeah. as well from yeah. Cork. Yeah. So well, God, I wish I could have been there for it because it was a great combination there. Yeah, it was all round. It was a good festival. They had Mauro O'Connell. They had Alton. They had Arcadie. They had Sharon Shannon and her new band, and they had lots, lots of really good entertainment, and it was very well run and organized. So it was a good time. Well, Martin, uh, many people have, uh, needless to say, uh, heard the music, and uh, I'm delighted that you were able to come on the show. Will you be able to play us a few tunes today? I suppose I will. It's, it's time after three or four years to change the tune, you know. So, <laughs> so we'll Yeah, I really would appreciate that, and, and I really appreciate your coming on. And we'll be talking to Dennis here in a minute, and uh, it's great to have you. Okay, thanks. Joe Band from Fecal, 
and um, the second one was one called The Green Gown de Less, which I also learned from the, that same musician. And uh, we're going to continue this time with two tunes that aren't nearly as old. Uh, the first one is a tune that Dennis wrote on the guitar, it's a little waltz. And uh, the second one is a kind of a reel, a slow reel that I wrote one time myself. So here we go with a couple of tunes we did ourselves. Thank you. 
one I learned from the fiddle playing of a fiddler called Liam Lewis from Galway. In fact, they were an entire musical family. They all played music. It was called Mincha Lewis. And it's a tune, one called Connor Duns. And then we're going to follow it with a well known reel called The Star of Us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.